Ladies and gentlemen, you are most welcome for the session of tonight, which will be about low voltage ECG. So what do we mean by low voltage ECG? We mean that the amplitude of the R wave in the arm leads is less than five millimeters. That's one big cubicle. And on the chest leads, less than two big cubicles, that's 10 millimeters. So what are the causes of low voltage ECG? It could be a problem of generation of the cardiac impulse, like in patients with cardiac diseases, particularly myocardial disease like myocarditis, myocardial infarction, infiltrative disease of the myocardium, cardiomyopathies, or it might be due to impedance of the cardiac impulse, like in patients with pericardial fusion, constrictive pericarditis, pneumopericardium, hemopericardium, patients with thick chest walls, like in patients who are very much obese, and patients with lung problems such as COPDers. So what's the significance of having low voltage ECG? This indicates disease severity and as well as poor prognostic feature, particularly in patients with congestive cardiac failure and systolic dysfunction, like for instance, patients with severe cardiomyopathy, uh, dilated cardiomyopathy with low ejection fraction. Uh, this ECG illustrates low voltage ECG with some uh, tachycardia. And in tachycardic patients, we have to make sure that our patient is not going into cardiac tamponade due to severe pericardial effusion. So urgent echocardiography would resolve the issue. And different causes here are listed that we have just mentioned. This ECG illustrates again low voltage ECG in a patient who is having cold intolerance. So in such patients, we have to think about hypothyroidism. Particularly in this patient, there is bradycardia and there's T-wave inversions, which are both features of uh, ECG in a patient with hypothyroidism. So the right answer here would be hypothyroidism. And by this, we come to the end of our session. See you next session, which is going to be how to diagnose arterial blood gases by just a glance at the arterial blood gases results. It's like two steps for the diagnosis of arterial blood gases. Till then, stay home, stay safe.